Hey guys, so I'm going to take you through a few problems on the graphing calculator because some things we are not able to do by hand or we don't have, or even if you just want to find the domain range of like a strange function that you don't know anything about. All right, so let's start with 3 over x minus 5. So I talked about in our other lesson by doing this by hand, when you have a fraction, you can never have zero in the denominator. So I kind of already know the answer going to be all numbers, ex all real numbers except 5, because if you put 5 in the bottom, it's not going to work. Um, and then I talked about how, so I know the answer, but let's use the calculator. So it's going to be all real numbers except x equals 5. And then for the range, think about if the range is all the y values. So like if you picked a random number, if I said 3 over x minus 5 equals 10, right, is that solvable? Yeah, I, it might be a fraction, it might be a weird answer, but we can cross multiply and we can solve it. The only thing that will not work is 0. If you cross multiply, you get 3 equals 0, so that doesn't work. So the, the range of this fraction is all real numbers except y equals 0. Now let's look at the calculator and how we can figure that out if we weren't sure. All right, so I'm going to go into my calculator, go to y equals, and I'm going to plot, what was it again, 3 over 3 divided by, now when you put the parentheses, the division, you need parentheses, x minus 5, if you don't put the parentheses, it's not going to have the whole x minus 5 in the bottom. Usually what I do is I just hit zoom 6 to start, see what this thing looks like. So it's, now some calculators, your some of the older ones especially, you might see a line here, a vertical line. Because this graph will get very, very close to 5, right? This is what our x, the x can't equal 5, right? It's going to get really, really close to 5, but it won't reach it. So to see that, if we go to our table, now make sure under um, table set, it's the independent is on auto, or is on ask, sorry. So second window takes you to the table setup. You want the independent to be on auto so you can pick numbers. So if we put in 5, see what happens. It gives you an error. So that really tells you that x 5 is not in the domain. If I put in 4.9, 30, 4.999, you can get really close to that 5, but you can never reach it. 5.0001. We're getting really close to that point, but we're never reaching it. Every other x value you can plug in. I can plug in a million, ridiculous number, negative, whateverness. I get a number, but we can't get to 5. So again, if we look at the graph, it gets really close. Here's 4, here's 5. It's getting really close, but it never actually reaches it. If you zoom out, if we zoom out we can see it even so what happens is the calculator gets mad and it just stops so because it gets really close to five but it's never going to reach it okay so now let's think look at the range what y values is this thing hitting well it's going to negative infinity it's going to infinity will it ever reach zero that is the question Will that y value hit 0? So when we plugged in, like I put in what, like around 10 million, 3 times e to the negative 7. That means 0 0.000003. When I plugged in negative a million, point zero, negative 0 0.00003. So it's getting really close to the axes, but it never reaches it never going to get that y value of 0. 
So that's how I can see that the graph is going to be all real numbers except y equals 0. All right. Now, these are ones we know how to graph. We have graphed these before, but finding that vertex point is really hard to do. So let's look at the calculator. So looking at this, I should you should know what this looks like. It's to the fourth. To the and it's negative in front. So I know usually these look like an M. Right? So my domain is going to be all real numbers. You can plug anything into a polynomial. The range, it's going to go negative infinity to whatever this point is. So the goal is to find that point. Right? We don't know how to do that. We have to use the calculator. So let's plug that in and look at the graph. So negative 2x to the 4th y equals negative 2x to the 4th. Now my calculator does the up. Yours probably doesn't. And then plus 3x squared. Squared plus 4. I always start with zoom 6, just because I'm not sure what this thing's going to look like. So that's actually not a terrible view. If you want to get a better window, I would cut off this top and cut off the edges. So I'm going to go change my window to negative 3 to 3 for my x's. Negative 3 to 3. And I can change my scale to 0.5 if I want. You don't have to. And then I'm just going to chop off the top a little bit. Well, I can chop off both. Negative 5 to, say, 7. Let's see how that looks. I like doing this because I want to make sure I have a really good view of this and I'm going to be accurate about it. So to do this, we're going to find this point right here. It looks like they're the same. I can't really, we can, we're going to find both. Let's find both of them. So to find the maximum point, that's a max, we're going to hit second trace. That brings us to the calc. I'm going to go down to four, which is the maximum, because I want to find the maximum value. So I'm going to bring my point, my cursor using the arrows. So the max looks like it's about here. So we need to go a little left of it. So if I go a little left, enter, and then I need to go a little right of where that max is, so like there. So see, my calculator does this. The older ones don't do this. So it's basically gonna, it's making it, he, making this small section, and it's gonna find the max of that for us. You don't have to actually do anything when you find the max. So our answer is x equals 0.866 and y is 5.125. So I'm going to write that down, 5.125, let's see. I'm going to put that there. It may not be my final answer. Let's check. We're going to check the other one just to be sure. So clear. Again, second calc. I'm going to move oops, spot 4 to find the maximum. Because this looks like it's symmetric, but I'm not 100% positive. So I'm going to do a left bound, enter, a little left of the max, right bound, and then enter for the guess. You don't have to actually guess. Okay, so that this is a symmetric graph. So my highest point is 5.125, and we're done. Next. So this one, I kept this because I, I did move our unit. So we should know what this looks like. What When does the inside equal? Remember, the inside has to be greater than 0. So 4 is greater than 3x. x is going to be smaller than 4 thirds. So that means my domain is negative infinity to four-thirds. When we graph this, right, my starting point is four-thirds comma negative eight, and because there's a negative on the inside, it's going to the left. 
So I know my graph looks like that. We can graph it just to be sure. So let's graph it. Clear the square root of, I can't remember again, 4 minus 3x. 4 minus 3x minus 8. I'm going to do zoom 6 again. Zoom 6 is 10 on every in every direction. So it starts there and it just goes off to the left. And you can find with the table So if we plug in 4 thirds What just happened? Oh my cat goes a little slow. Four thirds, I get an answer. If I plug in two, I don't get an answer. So four thirds is 1.3. If I do 1.34, error. But if I plug in any negative number, it's gonna it's gonna work, right? So we were correct about what this thing looked like. Right? It looks like this. So my domain is negative infinity to four thirds. My range, now does this thing go lower? This is like the bottom point, so it's going to go negative 8 to infinity. This thing looks like it never crosses, but it actually does, right? If you plug in a really big number, again, look at that, the table. When I plugged in like negative a million, it does go high. Like it takes a long time, but it does get there. Okay, so this is negative 8 comma, infinity. Oh my god, you guys, my dog is dreaming. Do you hear barking? She's barking in her sleep. It's the cutest thing ever. All right. Okay, now this is a new one. I kind of talked about this in our live the other day. Pause the video, and I want you to try this one on your own, because this is a hard one. We will we'll go over graphing these specifically, but we shouldn't know anything about this. So I'm going to go to y equals, I can never remember, negative 2 times 3 to the, now you, I don't actually have to do this, but I'm going to anyways, but on your calculator you need to put parentheses x minus 5. If you don't put that with the older calculator, it will get mad at you, and it's not going to, it's going to give you the wrong function. Alright, so there's my function. Zoom 6 to start. That's my 10 by 10. Let's see what this thing looks like. Do, 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 do. So like that fraction, it looks like it's going down forever. Let's change this window a little bit. Let's go a little farther to the right. So let's make the max 15 and the min negative 5. How that changes it. So it looks like it's not going to pass one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't. It looks like it's not going to pass seven. So let's check that by looking at the table. So if I plug in, delete, 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 delete. Let's try seven. So seven works. Eight. Eight works. So notice, it looks like it's going to not pass this, but it actually is. Look at it. I put in 100. So even though it looks like it's not, it, it looks like it's getting becoming close but not reaching it, it actually does go past it. So now, so that means our domain is negative infinity to infinity. We It's all real numbers. And if you look at this, if you can plug anything in here, it might be a crazy number, but if I try to do negative 2 times 3 to the billion plus n, it's a ginormous number, but you can do it. So my domain here is all real numbers. Now the range, now the range looks like it also doesn't, it's not going to pass something. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it looks like it's going to hit 6 and that's it. So let's look at the table. If, and it's going to the left. So let's plug in some really big small numbers. So 
So it says it's sex, right? Negative <clears throat> 50. What does that give me? Sex. So it looks like it's 6 to infinity. Now, I think that's a lie. This actually never, I don't think it, does it actually hit 6? Um, yeah, this doesn't actually hit six, so the calculator is lying to us. It's actually six uh, negative infinity to six, like that. Because, let's see, hold on. Make sure my brain is still working. If I set that equal to six. Yeah, so it, even though it's showing that it hits 6, it actually doesn't actually reach 6. So whenever you have x exponents like that, it usually it doesn't actually reach like this number. It gets really, really close to it. It doesn't reach it. All right. And the last one. Again, another fraction. I talked about this. We can, you can, the domain, you can figure out. The range on this one's a little harder. So I want you to graph this in your calculator. See, pause the video, figure out the domain range. For domain is all real numbers except x equals negative 3. So just like before, we can't have 0 in the denominator. But this, this does something different. 0, you actually, think about, can I get 0 out of this? You can. If you plug in 0, 0 over 3 equals 0. So 0 is in the range. We actually can get that. So let's look and see what is it we can't get. x divided by parentheses x plus 3. It was plus, right? Yeah. Graph. So can you tell by this picture, I didn't hit 6. Can you tell by this picture what it appears this thing is getting close to? So it's at zero here and it's getting really close. So let's plug some numbers in. Delete those. If I put in like a thousand, 10,000. So it's getting really close to what number? 1. This one can't reach 1. So if you think about it algebraically, if I have x over x plus 3 equals 1, and I cross and I try to solve for, for x, right? I cross multiply 1 over 1. That means x plus 3 equals 1 equals x. Sorry. Subtract x on both sides, x equals 0. x equals 0. 0 equals 3. So basically you want to see like what, look at the exponents. What can, when will these be equal, right? So that's kind of a good indication. Like if you take those and divide them, you get one. So it's all real numbers except y equals one is the answer. So play around with the calculator try to figure these out. Some of them I do want you to try in your head, um, but work through these. Email me if you have questions. Um, this is your work for the weekend. Have a great weekend. Um, don't go too stir crazy in your house. All right. Bye guys.